The Nicene Creed Greek, Symbolon tes Nicaeus or, tes Pistios Latin, Symbolum Nicenum is a statement of belief widely used in Christian liturgy. It is called Nicene because it was originally adopted in the city of Nicaea present-day Iznik, Turkey by the First Council of Nicaea in 325. In 381, it was amended at the First Council of Constantinople, and the amended form is referred to as the Nicene or the Niceno-Constantinopolitan Creed. The Oriental Orthodox and Assyrian churches use this profession of faith with the verbs in the original plural, we believe, but the Eastern Orthodox and Catholic churches convert those verbs to the singular, I believe. The Anglican and many Protestant denominations generally use the singular form, sometimes the plural. The earlier Apostles' Creed is also used in the Latin West, but not in the Eastern liturgies. On Sundays and Solemnities, one of these two creeds is recited in the Roman Rite Mass after the homily. The Nicene Creed is also part of the profession of faith required of those undertaking important functions within the Catholic Church. In the Byzantine Rite, the Nicene Creed is sung or recited at the Divine Liturgy, immediately preceding the Anaphora Eucharistic Prayer, and is also recited daily at Compline. History Topic. The purpose of a creed is to provide a doctrinal statement of correct belief or orthodoxy. The creeds of Christianity have been drawn up at times of conflict about doctrine, acceptance or rejection of a creed served to distinguish believers and deniers of particular doctrines. For that reason, a creed was called in Greek a symbolon, symbolon which originally meant half of a broken object which, when fitted to the other half, verified the bearer's identity. The Greek word passed through Latin symbolum into English symbol, which only later took on the meaning of an outward sign of something. The Nicene Creed was adopted to resolve the Arian controversy, whose leader, Arius, a clergyman of Alexandria, objected to Alexander's the bishop of the time apparent carelessness in blurring the distinction of nature between the Father and the Son by his emphasis on eternal generation. In reply, Alexander accused Arius of denying the divinity of the Son and also of being too Jewish and Greek in his thought. Alexander and his supporters created the Nicene Creed to clarify the key tenets of the Christian faith in response to the widespread adoption of Arius' doctrine, which was henceforth marked as heresy. The Nicene Creed of 325 explicitly affirms the co-essential divinity of the Son, applying to him the term consubstantial. The 381 version speaks of the Holy Spirit as worshipped and glorified with the Father and the Son. The later Athanasian Creed not used in Eastern Christianity describes in much greater detail the relationship between Father, Son and Holy Spirit. The earlier Apostles' Creed does not explicitly affirm the divinity of the Son and the Holy Spirit, but in the view of many who use it, this doctrine is implicit in it. Original Nicene Creed of 325 The original Nicene Creed was first adopted in 325 at the First Council of Nicaea. At that time, the text ended with the words, We believe in the Holy Spirit. After which various anathemas against Arian propositions were added, F. J. A. Hort and Adolf Harnack argued that the Nicene Creed was the local creed of Caesarea an important center of early Christianity recited in the council by Eusebius of Caesarea. Their case relied largely on a very specific interpretation of Eusebius' own account of the council's proceedings. More recent scholarship has not been convinced by their arguments. The large number of secondary divergences from the text of the creed quoted by Eusebius make it unlikely that it was used as a starting point by those who drafted the conciliar creed. Their initial text was probably a local creed from a Syro-Palestinian source into which they awkwardly inserted phrases to define the Nicene theology. The Eusebian creed may thus have been either a second or one of many nominations for the Nicene creed. Soon after the Council of Nicaea, new formulae of faith were composed, most of them variations of the Nicene symbol, to counter new phases of Arianism. The Catholic Encyclopedia identifies at least four before the Council of Sardica 341, where a new form was presented and inserted in the Acts of the Council, though it was not agreed on. Niceno-Constantinopolitan Creed what is known as the 
Niceno Constantinopolitan Creed, or the Nicene Constantinopolitan Creed, received this name because of a belief that it was adopted at the Second Ecumenical Council held in Constantinople in 381 as a modification of the original Nicene Creed of 325. In that light, it also came to be very commonly known simply as the Nicene Creed. It is the only authoritative ecumenical statement of the Christian faith accepted by the Roman Catholic, Eastern Orthodox, Oriental Orthodox, Anglican, and the major Protestant denominations, the Apostles. And Athanasian creeds are not as widely accepted, it differs in a number of respects, both by addition and omission, from the creed adopted at the First Council of Nicaea. The most notable difference is the additional section and we believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and Giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And we believe in one, holy, Catholic and apostolic Church. We acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Since the end of the 19th century, scholars have questioned the traditional explanation of the origin of this creed, which has been passed down in the name of the Council, whose official acts have been lost over time. A local council of Constantinople in 382 and the Third Ecumenical Council Ephesus, 431, made no mention of it, with the latter affirming the 325 Creed of Nicaea as a valid statement of the faith and using it to denounce Nestorianism. Though some scholarship claims that hints of the later creed's existence are discernible in some writings, no extant document gives its text or makes explicit mention of it earlier than the Fourth Ecumenical Council at Chalcedon in 451. Many of the bishops of the 451 council themselves had never heard of it and initially greeted it skeptically, but it was then produced from the Episcopal Archives of Constantinople, and the council accepted it, not as supplying any omission but as an authentic interpretation of the faith of Nicaea. In spite of the questions raised, it is considered most likely that this creed was in fact adopted at the 381 Second Ecumenical Council, on the basis of evidence both internal and external to the text. It has been argued that this creed originated not as an editing of the original creed proposed at Nicaea in 325, but as an independent creed, probably an older baptismal creed modified to make it more like the Nicene Creed. Some scholars have argued that the creed may have been presented at Chalcedon as a precedent for drawing up new creeds and definitions to supplement the Creed of Nicaea, as a way of getting round the ban on new creeds in Canon 7 of Ephesus. It is generally agreed that the Niceno Constantinopolitan Creed is not simply an expansion of the Creed of Nicaea, and was probably based on another traditional creed independent of the one from Nicaea. The Third Ecumenical Council, Council of Ephesus of 431, reaffirmed the original 325 version of the Nicene Creed and declared that it is unlawful for any man to bring forward, or to write, or to compose a different heteran faith as a rival to that established by the Holy Fathers assembled with the Holy Ghost in Nicaea, i.e., the 325 Creed. The word heteran is more accurately translated as used by the Council to mean different, contradictory, rather than another. This statement has been interpreted as a prohibition against changing this creed or composing others, but not all accept this interpretation. This question is connected with the controversy whether a creed proclaimed by an ecumenical council is definitive in excluding not only excisions from its text but also additions to it. In one respect, the Eastern Orthodox Church's received text of the Niceno-Constantinopolitan Creed differs from the earliest text, which is included in the Acts of the Council of Chalcedon of 451. The Eastern Orthodox Church uses the singular forms of verbs such as I believe in place of the plural form we believe used by the council. Byzantine Rite Eastern Catholic Churches use exactly the same form of the creed, since the Catholic Church teaches that it is wrong to add and the son to the Greek verb, ekporuomenon, though correct to add it to the Latin, ki prostit, which does not have precisely the same meaning. The form generally used in Western churches does add, and the Son, and also the phrase, God from God, which is found in the original 325 creed. Topic. Comparison between Creed of 325 and Creed of 381 
Topic. The following table, which indicates by square brackets the portions of the 325 text that were omitted or moved in 381, and uses italics to indicate what phrases, absent in the 325 text, were added in 381, juxtaposes the earlier AD 325 and later AD 381 forms of this creed in the English translation given in Philip Schaff's compilation The Creeds of Christendom 1877. The differences between the actual wordings in Greek adopted in 325 and in 381 can be presented in a similar way, as follows. Topic. Filioque controversy Topic. In the late 6th century, some Latin-speaking churches added the words, and from the sun. Filioque to the description of the procession of the Holy Spirit, in what many Eastern Orthodox Christians have at a later stage argued as a violation of Canon 7 of the Third Ecumenical Council, since the words were not included in the text by either the Council of Nicaea or that of Constantinople. This was incorporated into the liturgical practice of Rome in 1014. Filioque eventually became one of the main causes for the East-West Schism in 1054, and the failures of the repeated Union attempts. The Vatican stated in 1995 that, while the words kai tu hayu, and the sun, would indeed be heretical if used with the Greek verb ekporuamai, which is one of the terms used by St. Gregory of Nazianus and the one adopted by the Council of Constantinople, the word filioque is not heretical when associated with the Latin verb prosedo and the related word processio. Whereas the verb ekporuamai from ek, out of, and poruamai, to come or go, in Gregory and other fathers necessarily means to originate from a cause or principle. The Latin term procedo from pro, forward, and cedo, to go, has no such connotation and simply denotes the communication of the divine essence or substance. In this sense, processio is similar in meaning to the Greek term proionai, used by the fathers from Alexandria, especially Cyril of Alexandria, as well as others. Partly due to the influence of the Latin translations of the New Testament, especially of John chapter 15 verse 26, the term ekporuomenon, the present participle of ekporuomai in the creed was translated into Latin as procedentum. In time, the Latin version of the creed came to be interpreted in the West in the light of the Western concept of processio, which required the affirmation of the filioque to avoid the heresy of Arianism. Topic Views on the importance of this creed Topic. The view that the Nicene Creed can serve as a touchstone of true Christian faith is reflected in the name, symbol of faith, which was given to it in Greek and Latin, when in those languages the word, symbol, meant a token for identification by comparison with a counterpart, and which continues in use even in languages in which, symbol, no longer has that meaning. In the Roman Rite Mass, the Latin text of the Niceno-Constantinopolitan Creed, with Diem de Deo, God from God, and Filioque, and from the Son, phrases absent in the original text, was previously the only form used for the profession of faith. The Roman Missal now refers to it jointly with the Apostles. Creed as the symbol or profession of faith or creed, describing the second as the baptismal symbol of the Roman Church, known as the Apostles. Creed, the liturgies of the ancient churches of Eastern Christianity Eastern Orthodox Church, Oriental Orthodoxy, Church of the East and the Eastern Catholic Churches, use the Niceno-Constantinopolitan Creed, never the Western Apostles' Creed. While in certain places where the Byzantine rite is used, the choir or congregation sings the creed at the Divine Liturgy, in many places the creed is typically recited by the cantor, who in this capacity represents the whole congregation although many, and sometimes all, members of the congregation may join in rhythmic recitation. Where the latter is the practice, it is customary to invite, as a token of honor, any prominent lay member of the congregation who happens to be present, e.g., royalty, a visiting dignitary, the mayor, etc., to recite the creed in lieu of the cantor. This practice stems from the tradition that the prerogative to recite the creed belonged to the emperor, speaking for his populace. Some evangelical and other Christians consider the Nicene Creed helpful and to a certain extent authoritative, but not infallibly so in view of their belief that only Scripture is truly authoritative. 
non-Trinitarian groups, such as the Church of the New Jerusalem, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and the Jehovah's Witnesses, explicitly reject some of the statements in the Nicene Creed. <laughs> Ancient liturgical versions there are several designations for the two forms of the Nicene Creed, some with overlapping meanings. Nicene Creed or the Creed of Nicaea is used to refer to the original version adopted at the First Council of Nicaea 325, to the revised version adopted by the First Council of Constantinople 381, to the liturgical text used by the Orthodox Church with I believe, instead of we believe, to the Latin version that includes the phrase Diem de Deo and Filioque, and to the Armenian version, which does not include and from the Son, but does include God from God, and many other phrases. Niceno Constantinopolitan Creed can stand for the revised version of Constantinople 381 or the later Latin version or various other versions. Icon, symbol of the faith is the usual designation for the revised version of Constantinople 381 in the Orthodox churches, where this is the only creed used in the liturgy. Profession of faith of the 318 fathers refers specifically to the version of Nicaea 325 traditionally, 318 bishops took part at the First Council of Nicaea. Profession of faith of the 150 fathers refers specifically to the version of Constantinople 381 traditionally, 150 bishops took part at the First Council of Constantinople, in musical settings, particularly when sung in Latin, this creed is usually referred to by its first word, credo. This section is not meant to collect the texts of all liturgical versions of the Nicene Creed, and provides only three, the Greek, the Latin, and the Armenian, of special interest. Others are mentioned separately, but without the texts. All ancient liturgical versions, even the Greek, differ at least to some small extent from the text adopted by the first councils of Nicaea and Constantinople. The creed was originally written in Greek, owing to the location of the two councils, but though the council's texts have Pistiwomen homologomen prostokomen, we believe Confess Await, the creed that the churches of Byzantine tradition use in their liturgy has Pistiuo homologo prostico. I believe. Confess. Await, accentuating the personal nature of recitation of the creed. The Latin text, as well as using the singular, has two editions: Diem de Deo, God from God, and Filioque, and from the Son. The Armenian text has many more editions, and is included as showing how that ancient church has chosen to recite the creed with these numerous elaborations of its contents. An English translation of the Armenian text is added. English translations of the Greek and Latin liturgical texts are given at English versions of the Nicene Creed in current use. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Greek liturgical text. Topic: Pistiuo eis hanathi and patera panto kreto ara poiden orono kai jes horation te panton kai ara kai eis hana kyrian eisoun kristen tun hyan tu theo tun monogen tun ek tu petros genethanta pro panton tun ionen fos ek photos theon alathanen ek theo alathanu genethanta o poiedenta homoousian toi patri di hu ta panta egeneto. Tun di hamas tus anthropus kai dia ten hematoran soterian catalthanta ek tun oranen kai sarkothanta ek numatos hagio kai marias tes partheno kai ananthropesana. Starathanta te hyper hemen epa pontiu palatu kai pathanta kai tafanta. Kai anastanta te trite hemerai kata tas graphas. Kai anelthanta ice tus oranis kai kathazamanon ek dection tu petros. Kai palin or kamanon meta doxis krenai zontas kai necris hu tes basileas oak astai talos. Kai ice to numa to hagion to kirion to zoiopoion to ek tu petros ek poruomanon to sin patri kai hyoioi sum proskinomenon kai syndoxizomenon to laleson dia ton profitan. Ice mean hagion catholican kai apostolican ecclesian. Homologo hen baptisma ice aphison hamartian. Prostico anastasin necron. Kai zone tu melantos ionos. Amen. Topic. Latin liturgical version Topic. Credo in unum diem Patrum omnipotentum Factorum caeli et terrae Visibilium omnium et invisibilium Et in unum dominum isum Christum Filium dei unigenitum 
et ex patra natum anti omnia cicla. Diem de Deo, lumen de lumine, diem verum de Deo vero. Genitum, non factum, consubstantialum patri. Per quem omnia facta sunt. Qui propter nos homens et propter nostrum salutum. Discontit de calis. Et incarnatus est de spiritu sancto. Ex Maria Virgin, et homo factus est. Crucifixus etiam pro nobis sub Pontio Pilato. Passus et sepultus est. Et resrexit tertia die, secundum scripturas. Et ascantit in caelum, sedit ad desterum patris. Et iterum venturus est cum gloria. Udicare vivos et mortuos. Quius regna non erit finis. Et in spiritum sanctum, dominum et vivificantum. Qui ex patra filio procedit. Qui cum patra et filio simula dorator et conglorificator. Qui locutus est per prophetus. Et anam, sanctam, catholicum et apostolicam ecclesium. Confitior unum baptisma in remissionem peccatorum. Et expecto resurrectionum mortuorum. Et vitam venturi seculi. Amen. The Latin text adds, Diem de Deo, and Filioque, to the Greek. On the latter see the Filioque controversy above. Inevitably also, the overtones of the terms used, such as Pantocratora, Pantocratora and Omnipotentum, differ. Pantocratora, meaning ruler of all. Omnipotentum, meaning omnipotent, almighty. The implications of this for the interpretation of Ekporuomenon and Ki. Prostit was the object of the study the Greek and the Latin traditions regarding the procession of the Holy Spirit published by the Pontifical Council for Promoting Christian Unity in 1996. Again, the terms homoousion and consubstantialum, translated as of one being or consubstantial, have different overtones, being based respectively on Greek usha stable being, immutable reality, substance, essence, true nature, three and Latin substantia that of which a thing consists, the being, essence, contents, material, substance, credo, which in classical Latin is used with the accusative case of the thing held to be true and with the dative of the person to whom credence is given, is here used three times with the preposition, in, a literal translation of the Greek, ice. In unum diem, in unum dominum, in spiritum sanctum, and once in the classical preposition less construction, anam, sanctam, catholicum et apostolicam ecclesiam. Topic: Armenian liturgical text. Topic. Hawatam i mi astuak i hayern aminakal yarerikan ernai eu or kri irawelik eu and erawatik eu i mi ter yisus christos yordan astukoi sinelm yastukoi hor myasin isinkan utin hor astuak yastukoi lois i lusoi astuak churat yastukoi smarte sinand eu ak ararak noin inkan i benutin hor or of amenane ink egu yurkins eu i vare or kri irawelik eu anrawoit kr yagags mur martkan eu vasin muroi prakutian igil i yurknik marm Nika Mardika na Katerileps I Mariam A Serboy Kusin Hagwavan Srav or of Ear Zamarman Zogi Eu Zamit Eu Zamanane or Inki I Mard Smartapes Eu Ak Karsiak Karkariel Zaseel Tajiel Yerard Aur Yarasiel Elil I Yurkans Novan Marmnov Nista and Ijmi Hor Galak E Novan Marmnovan Eu Perak Hor I Dotal Zikendanese Eu Zamreels Oroi Tagawarutan Ak Goy Vaxkan Hawatam Eu I Serb Hagan Yanin Eu I Katerial Nar Zosaka Yorans Eu I Margaris Eu Yavatarans or Ni Yordanan Karazik Zarakalsin Eu Ben Keka I Serbsan Hawatam Eu I Mi Mian and Danrakan Eu Erikelikan Serb Ekjechi I Mi Makrishun Yapisk Serhutin I Kawatin Eu I Togatin Megak I Yarutian Marilak I Datistan Ya Atenak Hogwak Eu Marmnak Yarkayutian Erknak Eu I Keens and Yaitanakans English translation of the Armenian version we believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth, of things visible and invisible. And in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the begotten of God the Father, the only begotten, that is of the essence of the Father. God of God, light of light, true God of true God, begotten and not made, of the very same nature of the Father, by whom all things came into being, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. 
who for us humanity and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate, was made human, was born perfectly of the Holy Virgin Mary by the Holy Spirit, by whom he took body, soul, and mind, and everything that is in man, truly and not in semblance. He suffered, was crucified, was buried, rose again on the third day, ascended into heaven with the same body, and sat at the right hand of the Father. He is to come with the same body and with the glory of the Father, to judge the living and the dead, of his kingdom there is no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, in the uncreated and the perfect, who spoke through the law, prophets, and gospels, who came down upon the Jordan, preached through the apostles, and lived in the saints. We believe also in only one, universal, apostolic, and holy church, in one baptism in repentance, for the remission, and forgiveness of sins, and in the resurrection of the dead, in the everlasting judgment of souls and bodies, and the kingdom of heaven and in the everlasting life. Topic Other ancient liturgical versions Topic The version in the Church Slavonic language, used by several Eastern Orthodox churches is practically identical with the Greek liturgical version. This version is used also by some Byzantine Rite Eastern Catholic churches. Although the Union of Brest excluded addition of the Filioque, this was sometimes added by Ruthenian Catholics, whose older liturgical books also show the phrase in brackets, and by Ukrainian Catholics. Writing in 1971, the Ruthenian scholar Fr. Casimir Kucherik noted, in Eastern Catholic churches, the Filioque may be omitted except when scandal would ensue. Most of the Eastern Catholic rites use it, however, in the decades that followed 1971 it has come to be used more rarely. The versions used by Oriental Orthodoxy and the Church of the East differ from the Greek liturgical version in having we believe, as in the original text, instead of I believe. Topic English translations Topic The version found in the 1662 Book of Common Prayer is still commonly used by some English speakers, but more modern translations are now more common. The International Consultation on English Texts published an English translation of the Nicene Creed, first in 1970 and then in successive revisions in 1971 and 1975. These texts were adopted by several churches. The Roman Catholic Church in the United States, which adopted the 1971 version in 1973, and the Catholic Church in other English-speaking countries, which in 1975 adopted the version published in that year, continued to use them until 2011, when it replaced them with the version in the Roman Missal 3rd edition. The 1975 version was included in the 1979 Episcopal Church United States Book of Common Prayer, but with one variation, in the line, For us men and for our salvation, it omitted the word, men. Topic see also topic Homoousian First Seven Ecumenical Councils topic References topic topic Bibliography topic Ayers, Lewis 2006. Nicaea and its Legacy. Oxford, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-875505-8. A. E. Byrne, The Council of Nicaea 1925, G. Forrell, Understanding the Nicene Creed 1965, Kelly, John N. D. 2006, 1972. Early Christian Creeds, 3rd ed. London, New York, Continuum. Ritter, Adolf Martin 1965. Das Konsul von Konstantinopel und sein Symbol, Studien zur Geschichte und Theologie des Two Ökumenischen Konsuls. Göttingen, Vandenhoek and Ruprecht. Topic: External links. Topic: The full text of Nicene Creed at Wikisource. Latin Wikisource has original text related to this article, Symbolum Nicenum Constantinopolitanum. Greek Wikisource has original text related to this article, Nicene Creed in Greek. Extensive discussion of the texts of the First Council of Nicaea Philip Schaff, Creeds of Christendom Vol. 1, Nicene Creed Athanasius, De Decretis or Defense of the Nicene Definition Line-by-line -line Roman Catholic explanation of the Nicene Creed Nicene Creed in Languages of the World Essays on the Nicene Creed from the Wisconsin Lutheran Seminary Library Modern English translations of the documents produced at Nicaea. The Nicene Creed. Run time 42 minutes, BBC. In Our Time. Audio History Series, Moderator and Historians, Episode December 27, 2007.